or feared very often the victims of the vampires. Yes, in times past, but not today. A person afflicted with porphyria often has fluorescent nails and teeth. They are often weak and sensitive to light. It is a convenient way to explain the vampire legend. You have described many of Lucy's symptoms. Trust me, Miss Lucy is not afflicted with porphyria, nor is the man I speak of. He is a genuine vampire. We'll do what you say. We must. After what Jonathan has been through, I can believe anything. I don't think he'll show up. But your pardon, Dr. Quincy. What is it, Mrs. Fair? A gentleman, man. Come to pay his compliments? Your neighbor, he says, a foreign-looking gentleman, gave me quite a stop to just standing there at the room and at the door. His name? Count Dracula. Show him. <laughs> he has come to laugh at us. He must be on our guard. He'll be watching us as much as we'll be watching him. It will be embarrassing if you're proven wrong. <laughs> Count Dracula. <laughs> Thus, my arriving unannounced will not be an inconvenience. I am Dracula. Won't you come in? This is Arthur Holmes, <coughs> my niece's fiance. Delighted. A good friend, Mrs. Harper. John. This is Professor Van Helsing. I know the name. I never thought I would come face to face with the Transylvania nobleman. <laughs> now you know better. I haven't introduced it to myself. You must be Dr. Quincy, the noted psychiatrist. I'm flattered that you know my name. When I read the compact's castle, I took the trouble to inquire about my neighbors. Won't you sit down, Count? You are most certainly kind. Hark. Hark. I seem to know that name, too. Will you be joining us for dinner, <laughs> Count Dracula? I've already died. A glass of wine? I don't drink. Why? Uh, how do you find England? So unlike my home land in the Carpathian Mountains. Yours is a proud name. Well, I am a direct descendant of Vlad the Impaler. You see, we at the House of Dracula have the right to be proud of the past. For within our veins flows the blood of many brave nations who fought like the Lion for the Lordship. That was many centuries ago, when the Dracula name was in its glory. Time means nothing to a Dracula. Ah, uh, Shirley, you can't be comfortable at Carfax Castle. I find the place rich. Did you have any plans for renovation? No. What appears to you about the place? It's rude in quality. It's isolation. I require solitude, but I am particularly far of the overgrown cemetery. But the markers on the grave are so worn out. You can barely make out the names. Well, that lands a certain charm. Ah, uh, but the wolves, they appear to be forging on the grounds of Carfax Castle. <laughs> My dear Mrs. Harker, everybody knows there are no wolves in England. Uh, but we heard. Why have you left your homeland? I enjoy travel. Did you fly? Is that so amusing? I travel by ship. What will you do now that you're in England? Rejuvenate myself. I grow weak in my mountains. The land has become better, and nothing grows but twisted trees. The old have died because the blood in their veins are as weak as water. The young have left, and the climate is bad. Oh, what is it? It appears to be one of Mrs. Strenner's knitting needles. Oh, she's always <laughs> leaving them about. It's bleeding. Take care. To cut yourself is more dangerous than you think. The chair wasn't that deep. Perhaps I could be of help. Let me see the finger. That won't be necessary, Count Dracula. Arthur, have all the nurses attend to it. You're all making a terrible mess <laughs> over this. Rather quickly. You said you knew my name. I read a lot about you. 
Even in Transylvania, you are well known. At least to me. I'm flattered, but my work mainly deals with the outer regions of the mind as they affect the body. I have an inordinate interest in vampirism. I know. I have something here for you that you will like. The Venice, very old. I am bound in antiquities. The back is encrusted by no other than the Nell himself. What is it? A mirror! <laughs> Remarkable, Count Dracula. You cast no reflection in the glass. So you know what I am. I do. Beware. It is unwise to know too much about Dracula. I know. I will conquer you with all your evil. So it was you who has banned me from Miss Lucy's womb. Take care. She'll soon be the bride of Dracula. Is that your great secret, <coughs> Mr. Leland? It will amuse me to tell you. I have wasted as much as I dare on my homeland. I would like a place new where somebody would laugh at the idea of a vampire. A new land where we can breathe again and grow strong. Lead us, Dracula. We follow. We obey. See, powers of good from attack me! Never! 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 See, powers of good from attack me! Away with us! You know too much to win that, Jose. So you and the others will try your wits against mine and frustrate me in my design? Huh. You shall pay, each and every one of you, in this very house. Tonight, I will claim you as I claim Lucy Westerno. When the clutch strikes midnight, all those that are evil will come at full sway. Time is definitely by my side. And I shall be back. Make no 